Good evening. I'm S3 Cadet Major Marcus Beeson. And on behalf of the Senior Army Instructor of Limbloom Math and Science Academy, we'd like to welcome you all to the 2021 Virtual Military Ball. We are pleased and honored that so many cadets, staff, parents, and distinguished guests could be present for the celebration of the military heritage and tradition. At this time, I will now announce the battalion staff and the distinguished guests that are here with us tonight. Principal of Limbloom Math and Science Academy, Mr. Wayne Beavis. Assistant Principal of Limbloom Math and Science Academy, Mrs. Karen Carpenter and her husband, Jason Carpenter. Senior Army Instructor of Limbloom Math and Science Academy, First Sergeant Aaron Stuckey. And our battalion staff, our battalion commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Margaret Harris. Our battalion executive officer, Cadet Major Michaela Eidelberg. Our Command Sergeant Major, Cadet Command Sergeant Michelle Heron. Our S1, Cadet Captain Carla Casas. Our S2, Cadet Captain Shania Dawson. Our S3, myself, Cadet Major Marcus Beeson. Our S4, Cadet Captain Trinity Johnson. Our S5, Cadet Captain Jaquela Johnson. And finally, our S6, Cadet Captain DeAndre Creighton. We will now acknowledge the color guard for the posting of the colors and our national anthem sung by our very own Michelle Herring. to this year's annual ball. My name is First Sergeant Aaron Stuckey, and I wanna tell you a little bit about me. I served 23 years in the US Army, where I'm now retired, serving you. During that time frame, I had the opportunity to lead and mentor and work with thousands of amazing soldiers and people. And I look forward to the opportunity that I have to take those lessons learned those experiences and sharing them with you to make you better citizens. I thank you for your time. I thank you for what you contribute. And I ask that you please enjoy the ball. Thank you. Those who have served and those currently serving for the United States are ever mindful that the sweetness of enduring peace has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. No sacrifice is greater than what President Lincoln described in his famous Gettysburg Address as the last full measure 
of devotion to our country. Tradition and honor compel us to recognize those who paid the ultimate sacrifice and died to defend our nation. Please turn your attention to the table in the middle of the room, which occupies a place of dignity and honor near the head table. At this table, we will recognize the fallen soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines who gave their lives defending America. Each branch of service has its service hat representing them. Each seat remains empty, representing their absence due to giving the lives of our nation. The single red rose in the vase signifies the blood that they have shed and sacrificed to ensure the freedom of the United States of America. The glasses at the table are inverted. They cannot toast with us tonight. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arm. The chairs are empty. They cannot sit with us tonight. Each candle lit by our cadet represents the eternal flame of sacrifice that our Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine gave their lives for. The purity of that flame represents a grateful nation. For a brief moment, we would like to offer a moment of silence for the passing of one of our fellow Eagles, Miss Margie Davis. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please recognize TAPS as it is played by our own cadet Marcus Beeson. Honor is the cadet's touchstone. It is the source from which dedication and integrity emit. Honor has been a guiding light for military leaders since the beginning of recorded history. The luminous color of the yellow elixir will now be added, which represents the honor that will guide the cadets throughout their life and career. In honor of those cadets who attended summer camp successfully, negotiated the 40-foot raffle tower, and the slide for life, I will add red bulls to represent the adrenaline rush they felt as they overcame their fears and negotiated this training. Chicago Public Schools offer our cadets the opportunity to broaden their learning experience with strong academic programs, extracurricular activities, and most of all, tremendous support. For this, we are grateful. Water will now be added from Limbo's Drinking Fountain to honor the support of our school. To honor those who have served on the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan, the dry ice will be added to symbolize the smoke of battle and the fog of war, the experiences lived and passed on to future leaders. The global war against terrorist organization has and will continue to take our nation's finest to unforgiving and inhospitable places around the world. The brown sugar added represents the dirt and dust of the modern battlefields in which many of our school's alumni have honorably engaged. The red juice to represent the sacrifice of the fallen, while salt water is added to symbolize the sweat that soaks the shirt and brows of our cadets during the rigorous physical training. It is the pursuit of knowledge which drives our cadets. 
Army cadets are scholars, becoming better citizens, committed to the endless needs to improve themselves mentally and physically. The slices of fruit being added represent the numerous tasks our cadets must learn to succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, before we offer the toast of this evening, I ask that you please charge your glasses to the screen and respond to the given toast. To the President of the United States. To the United States Army. To the Eagle Battalion. To Blakes. To Limblum. Due to COVID-19, we were unable to celebrate this year's military ball in person. The structure of this is now a little bit different, but however, we still want you to remember the good old days, so please take a look at the past memories of Limbo's JRTC program. <laughs> Oh, you picky. <laughs> what you put in your afro? You got some afro scene is it's invisible. No, you're not. You're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. Mean up. Mean up. <laughs> <laughs> Now it is time to present the Junior ROTC Awards for this year. But first, I'd like to recognize our special teams, such as the Color Guard, Raider Team, and the Drill Team. These teams have practiced nonstop with Sergeant First Class Kevin Walker and Senior Instructor Staff Sergeant Daniel Lawson. Although none of them have had a normal year, their hard work and perseverance has not gone unnoticed. We will now award the cadets who have participated in the program for four years. Ooh. Please come forward when your name is called. Oh. Mm.
Good evening, good people. The first award is the Ensign John W. Reagan Perseverance Award. Ensign John W. Reagan graduated from Lindblom in 1941, near the top of his class. He went to Montana State University and was drafted into the Navy during World War II. Reagan was selected by the Navy to go to Officer Kennedy School at Great Lakes, Illinois, and became a member of the famous Golden Thirteen who were the first African-Americans to be commissioned as officers in the United States Navy. During his training, Reagan and his fellow Golden 13 classmates were treated unfairly by the white naval officers and enlisted. They were segregated, spat upon, and even physically beaten. But they still got their commission as naval officers. The John W. Reagan Award is given to cadets who demonstrate determination, drive, perseverance, and all they do is leaders, students, and cadets at Limbloom Math and Science Academy. My good people, this year's recipient of the John W. Reagan Perseverance Award is Cadet Margaret Harris. Congratulations. The next award is the Sergeant Lawrence Vincent Blanchett Academic Achievement Award. Sergeant Blanchett was a 1944 graduate of Lindblom Math and Science Academy. He was the first African American to graduate number one in his class and the first to be the JROTC Battalion Commander. Only 17 upon graduation, he was too young to be drafted into service for World War II. His father signed off on his enlistment papers and Blanchett was sent to Italy with the all-black 92nd Infantry, or the famed Buffalo Soldiers. Sergeant Blanchett took out two heavily armed Nazi bunkers and sniper positions, saving the lives of numerous pinned down American soldiers. Although wounded, Blanchett continued to take out the third sniper position and was shot again and died on the battlefield. Sergeant Blanchett was awarded the Silver Star for uncommon bravery under fire. In a letter home before he died, Blanchett said that after he was done fighting the Nazis, he wanted to return home and fight discrimination there. The Sergeant Lawrence Vincent Blanchett Academic Achievement Award is given to the Limbloom Math and Science Academy cadet who has achieved the most academically and achieved the highest levels of JROTC leadership. This year's Sergeant Lawrence Vincent Blanchett Award is given to Cadet Michaela Eidelberg. Congratulations. The next award is the Superior Cadet Award. The Superior Cadet Award is defined as the Army JRTC as an outstanding cadet in each let level. With the definition at mind, Limbloom defines Superior Cadet as a high speed, low drag cadet who does not waste time to take action when needed. There are cadets who prove their dedication to our program both in and out of the classroom. The following cadets are setting example for everyone else. And we hope that every other cadet take them as mentors to improve their mind and strengthen their body. The recipient of the Let One Superior Cadet Award is Cadet Madison Robinson. The recipient of the Let Two Award Superior Cadet is Daniela Chavez. The recipient of the Let Three Cadet Award is Hector Aranda, okay? And the recipient for the left floor, Superior Cadet, is Marcus Visa. Why don't you look at that? <laughs> nice. Congratulations to all the award winners, and I hope that you maintain your ability to shine and continue to stand out as a cadet and a person. There's nothing on the paper either, but you know. It's now the time that we have concluded our military virtual ball.
or virtual military ball. Nah. I want to thank everyone again for watching and participating in the military ball. Congratulations to all the winners and award winners. And please stay safe. Have a great night. Thank you.